Oh, hello. Today, we wanted to share, well, I wanted to share with you guys, another way we can save some money. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. There's my channel right there. And we do have some new shirts here, live choices. Uh, there's going to be a link below if you guys would like to have one. You guys can support the channel by doing so. So let's get started. Let's get it rolling. First, number one. This is a way you can start saving money if you have any payment, any loan, um, more for personal loans, auto loans, things that are amortized loans, because I have a simple step that will help you get this paid down and save you some money. So let's see what those details are. All right, number one. The way you can save some money is by paying down your auto loan, personal loan, whatever amortized loan it may be, earlier will save you some money. Why? An amortized loan works by the length of time that you have the loan. The more time that you have your loan, the more interest you will get charged. Why? That is the benefit of getting a loan. So, the way you get to save some money is by paying some additional money to principal into that loan at a quicker rate, and that will save you some money. Okay? All right, let's continue. Alrighty, tip number two. For tip number two, I got something specific for a car loan. What is going to save you on a car loan? Well, the simplest answer for that is buying a car that has depreciated in value and not paying retail on this car. What does that mean? If you buy new with zero miles, you're paying for the luxury of having a brand new car for pleasure at the retail value. So a way that you can save money is by buying a used vehicle for personal use at its depreciated value after a couple 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 miles, then you will have a depreciated car, truck, whatever it may be that you will have available to you at a shorter, at a discount, whatever you want to call it and you will save on the long run on something like that. I'll give you an example here in a bit. Alrighty, example. I have a 2016 Chrysler 300 that I bought back in 2016. If you look at some previous videos, you should be able to see what that one looks like. In the year 2016, I bought it at the end of the year. It was valued at roughly 30, 32,000 retail value for the car. I waited until the end of the year to buy it, so someone owned it previously to me. I ended up buying it at a discount for around twenty two thousand dollars 
so I saved myself roughly eight, you know, eight to ten thousand dollars just by waiting for someone to pay the retail value and me getting the discount for the amount of miles that it had. I believe the car had around 5,000 miles. The car is a brand new car. You are not going to get a car that is not good with just 5,000 miles. So I ended up paying 22,000 miles, got a loan at a 2.99, for a five year loan and that was for the step number two, the tip number two, but the way that I was able to save myself some additional money is by paying it off by year 2018. So two years later, I was able to pay it off by paying more than my monthly payment to save myself some money on the interest but I will go over in additional videos on why I paid it off earlier in addition to that. But not only did I save myself on the retail value of the car, but number two, I saved myself on the interest that I was going to pay anyways when I got the loan. So let me know. What do you think about these two tips? What would you change? What would you do different? Let me know. Like, subscribe. All right, let's keep it rolling.